With last year's diesel fuel prices still affecting the price of many commodities today, more farmers are exploring the idea of using biofuels for their operations. Well, the Monitor's Ryan Nakan shows us how one middle Georgia family is making biodiesel from an unlikely and foul source. It's turning one of nature's most unwanted waste products into one of man's most wanted resource. Shaded in this storage shed, Richard Hogan and his father, Danny Hogan, explained to a group of farmers how they're turning chicken fat into biodiesel. It doesn't seem like you could run a car on, uh, on, on used cooking oil or, uh, or, or a fat a poultry or, or a beef tallow, but uh, it, it's a great idea. When a grant from the NRCA became available to assist a farmer in making biodiesel, Richard jumped at the chance to make his farm more self-sufficient. I wanted to get my feet wet and see how how the process works, learn more about it. What we're really doing is just trying to make it for ourselves. And uh, if, if we can be a little more self-sufficient on the diesel that we use on the farm, that would be super. Though the equipment behind me looks very complicated with all its knobs and switches, Richard Hogan says if he can do it, anybody can do it. And he believes this biodiesel is the way of the future. It would be better for the environment. Uh, it, you know, biodiesel runs cleaner. Even though it's a fairly small operation, you can just run it more often and still get your end result as far as gallons. Bio diesel plant at the top. This is when the Hogans took on this experiment, the price of diesel was considerably higher than it is now. So the idea of cutting costs on the farm seemed very likely. But to this group of farmers, the Hogans enlightened them. Now, that just isn't the case. It's just not economically feasible right now. If diesel goes on up, and it will, it may become more if a little more efficient, especially if you do it on a large scale. Right now, the amount of money it costs the Hogan's to make one gallon of biofuel is $2.36. Compared to the average cost of diesel now, that is 14 cents more a gallon. And when purchasing large amounts of diesel like farmers often do, that could make thousands of dollars in difference. But with diesel prices on the rise, that difference could change. And the Hogan suggests farmers come together if they're interested in their own operation. If you were going to co-op, then that would look a lot more feasible. And you could have a co-op, that'd be great. And, 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 if, and the more people you got together, the larger scale you could do, and the more people would share the burden and gain from it. So, I mean, there's, there's no doubt that that could, be, that could be a huge benefit. At this demonstration, the idea of co-op with biodiesel didn't fall on deaf ears. Some systems would have a separate mixture. Yeah, I, I like the process. The bigger you could do it with a co-op, it would be, it would cost less to do it in a bigger quantity. If you buy your, your input cost to buy it cheaper, it would be a a lot cheaper for you to do it. Glenn Waller says he believes using these type of fuels will make our country stronger. I think it's going to be a coming thing because we need to be independent from far and all. We don't need to be dependent on them. We need to use something that we can grow. But Richard Hogan knows for farmers, right now it all comes down to one thing. It all gets back to one thing and that is cost of the ingredients going in. But with the expertise and ideas that he can now share with Georgia farmers and the price of diesel creeping ever so slowly back up, the future of Hogan Farms looks a little more clear and clean. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Ryan Nakan.